Hello everyone, welcome to another Skywalker The Saga news update on the channel. We have some big things happening recently to do with the game that is very promising and I've compiled all of the latest for you guys in today's video. So drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more content and if you're ready, let's get into it. So firstly we got an exciting new look at the game with a recently posted clip of Boba Fett on Tatooine that was posted by the Spanish account for Ferner Bros out on Instagram. This is obviously to market and help the marketing and ramp up for the Boba Fett show which is actually arriving on the 29th of December. Here is the clip if you have not yet seen it. Bounty or no bounty, you're coming with me. So yet again, the Spanish media account have pulled through for us. And as I've said multiple times before, I really do love these short little clips that they post out on these social medias to keep everyone in tune with the game and reminder that it is on the horizon. So next up, for those who haven't seen recently, both Singapore and Brazil gave their official rating for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, which was rated at PG. Well, Australia is the latest to join them and have also rated them with a PG rating and Justin as well also Taiwan and Korea. This shows us that the game probably will not get delayed and another reason towards all of the other things showing that the game will get delayed and I'm sure there'll be more ratings to come just to clarify that it is a PG rated game. So next up, we have a pretty substantial development actually, and this comes from Warner Bros' YouTube channel itself, where they actually had paired up with a Brazilian YouTuber to give a tier list on his top 10 favorite Sith, and then he would do a top 10 favorite Jedi on his corresponding YouTube channel. Now, you might be asking, why is this important? Well, a lot more was said within the video as the YouTuber himself within the video talks a little bit about the Skywalker saga and he says, and I quote, we should get some new stuff about the game in January and WB will advertise on first hand for you guys. So you should follow the account for updates. Now that isn't confirmation of say like a release date in January, but maybe he slipped the rabbit out of the hat or said something that maybe he should not have said and they had priorly told him this information and he's just said it on accident or maybe he was allowed to see this news and he's simply telling everyone and all of his fans in his video so take that little bit with a pinch of salt but it is coming from the youtuber's mouth himself and it was partnered it was directly partnered with WB games themselves so the information is very likely to be true now, moving on to our next point, we actually do have a couple of dev teases that was posted out on Twitter and I'm going to quote them as I usually do and put the image on screen for you guys. So the first one comes from a guy called Lewis Blythe who goes out on Twitter and he says, I'm officially finished with work for the year. It's been a crazy one at times, but it's also the most fun I've ever had at TT. Can't wait for y'all to see what we've been up to next year and beyond. Exciting times ahead with the shush emoji, but now I sleep. So very interesting, very telling tweet I would say. He goes on to talk about how it's very exciting for the times ahead with the shush emo. I'd assume that in the next couple of months, again, it, it's more pushing towards positive signs in terms of the game not being delayed, arriving on in spring, and we have some updates in the near future. There was then another tweet from one of the other developers over at TT and we all know this one, Tim Spencer. He was out on Twitter and he posted this emoji, or gif I should say, and he says, and I quote, left in brackets me playing through the latest build of NDA. Right, reality I've not been able to talk about it yet. Game dev life. Now this one really isn't that telling, just more showing his excitement towards the game and the fact that he's probably played through the full build of the game. And lastly guys, moving on to my last post, we do have another dev that is officially leaving TT Games and this is Nori Abahuros. I don't know if I said that right, but he is at Make It Fun Nuri. I don't know how you pronounce his name, sorry, but he goes on to say, and I quote, today's my last day at TT Games. It's been a wild ride over the past two and a half-ish years and I've loved every minute of it. After a little break, I'll be off onto a new adventure, but more on that later. Happy holidays, everyone. 
Now, as sad as these may sound towards us when the devs are talking about leaving their positions and moving away, this is actually a really, really positive sign for the game and for its delivery in spring. The more devs that leave, the more they talk about the game's completion, the more they, you know, show their excitement for the game after playing through it, the closer it is to our grasp because we know that it's completed, there's less devs working on it and it's ready to be put out there for everyone and the fans who have pre-ordered the game. But as always, be sure to drop your comments down below and let me know what you guys make exactly of all of the news that we have gotten in today's video. Remember, if you made it to the end of this video and found it very, very helpful, useful or informational, all that good stuff, please be sure to drop a subscription to the channel and a like that which will help push this video to others who don't know about this crucial information to do with LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga and obviously drop the sub if you're looking for similar content to do with LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga or upcoming Star Wars games in the future. Anyway, this has been the Splotchbug. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye.